Last spring, our school received a grant to convert from a middle magnet school to an international baccalaureate middle years program school. Within this grant, a large amount of money was set aside for technology. All of our classrooms received projectors, light speed sound systems, smart slates, and document cameras. In addition to all of this, we also received a laptop cart with a classroom set of laptops, classroom set of iPads, 12 Toshiba Thrives, four classroom student response systems, and several smart boards. And we also received vernier probes, which are for science, and about 20 flip cameras. All of this technology is great, but wait a minute. We have a very veteran teaching staff, and most of them think technology is for the younger, newly trained teachers. Some of our teachers only know how to turn on and off their computers. The challenge-based research project came at the right time. How can we infuse this technology into the classroom through in-house professional development? Through my research of the literature review, I was able to gain knowledge of integrating technology and professional development. Koster, Dingerink, Carthagen, and Lundenberg in 2008 concluded that teachers who voluntarily participate in a standards-based self-assessment and professional development were able to set goals, use a variety of professional developments, and grow professionally. This I found to be true with the teachers that I worked with. One thing that I found not to be so true in my situation though, through the research was when Stanulis and Ames in 2009 stated that while it is important to mentor teachers, it is also important for the mentor to teach and not to become buddies. What I found through my challenge-based research project was that the stronger relationship you built with those teachers, the better they were at responding to your instructions and mentoring. O'Bannon and Judge in 2004 stated the need for integrating technology was growing each year and one of the drawbacks was teachers have to invest so much time into learning, planning, and integrating the technology and there were few who really committed to it. I found this to be true to some extent but with encouragement and consistent mentoring they were much more receptive of learning this new technology. To design my project, I relied heavily on the ADDIE process. During the analyze phase, I looked at all the technology that we had received and developed a questionnaire in Google Docs that would help me understand my audience. I found that the average teaching experience at our school was 23 years, with the highest being 35 years and the lowest being 6 years. I also discovered that two-thirds of the teachers very seldom used any technology. This became my challenge. How do I get seasoned veterans that seldom use technology to listen to me and spend time learning technology and getting students engaged using this technology? During the design phase, I developed a plan to conduct professional development with the whole staff and then mentor them individually or in small groups to deepen their understanding of this technology.
In the develop phase of the ADDIE process, I had the teachers choose one technology and become an expert on it, then share that information with another teacher. During the implementation phase, the teachers worked hard at becoming experts and encouraging each other. They had fun learning and sharing. In the evaluation phase, the teacher filled out a post survey that was created in Google Docs. The amount of technology that was being used in the classroom grew exponentially. And if there was a problem, it was that we had so many teachers wanting to use the technology that there was not enough to go around. We have never had that problem before. Through both phase one and phase two of the challenge based research project the teachers were challenged to use technology and share with others in hopes of better engaging our students in the learning process the archery teacher Ask if there was a way to use technology to hold a virtual archery tournament with a team about 200 miles away. We sat down and created a Google spreadsheet that we shared with the other team. And as each team shot, the scores went up in real time. They have already planned another one, this time also using video feeds to watch each other. Our language arts teacher was teaching a novel out of the dust and had the students use the iPads to create a graphic novel of the book using Comic Life. The students were very creative and they had a blast doing it. I use the storytelling and video techniques I learned in filmmaking principles and education and the copyright information that I learned in the media asset creation class to inform and instruct my students in creating a script and video created entirely from the iPad. The students were engaged beyond my belief. They stayed on task and they were able to manipulate things in the iPad that I had no clue that I could do in iMovie. It was amazing. They taught me so much as we were going through this process. So what's next? I'm going to continue working with the teachers at my school to encourage them and mentor them through working with the technology that we have received. I guess my next goal would be to start my doctorate program in instructional technology to be able to help other schools do the same thing that we have done. <music>